six kinds of people that God cannot save. Apostle John testified that God loved the world so much that he sent his one begotten son to sacrifice his life for the redemption of the world. But who is the world? Christians, believers, Catholics, Protestants? No, the world includes everyone. Men, women, children, Jews, Gentiles, Muslims, Hindus, pagans, good people, bad people. Everyone can partake in the salvation of Jesus Christ, yet not everyone can be saved. In fact, there are six kinds of people that God cannot save. In this episode, I will list the six categories of people that it is impossible for God to save. Some in the list will surprise you, but before I continue, help us out by liking this video and What are the six categories of people that God cannot save? Number one, the self-righteous. We have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure. The first category of people that God cannot and will not save are the self-righteous. You might ask, what does it mean to be self-righteous? To be self-righteous is to claim righteousness through personal work rather than the grace of Jesus. Jesus explained it clearly in the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. In the parable, Jesus said two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed God. I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get, but the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Luke 18, 10 to 14. The self-righteous wallow in self-exaltation. They are prideful, arrogant, conceited. They cannot be saved. They are the ones Jesus say will come to him on the day of judgment and say, Lord, have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not done miracles in your name? Have we not done all these wonderful things in your name? And Jesus is going to say to them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Those words, I never knew you, represents divine rejection and banishment on the very day that counts. Please listen to me carefully. Stop relying on your works as your ticket to eternal life. Instead, put your faith in Christ Jesus because his grace is more than enough to guarantee your redemption. Take note of the phrase, they trusted in themselves that they were righteous. The Pharisees did not obey the law of God because they wanted to but so that they couldn't maintain virtuous image in the eye of the world. It was not about God, it was about them. That is the essence of self-righteousness. It is not about God, it is about the self. Therefore, there is no reward of eternal life. The Pharisees in this story are the people who have lifted themselves above the rest of society because they think of themselves to be better than everyone else. They are judgmental and condemns everything that they do not approve. If you disagree with them, they belittle you, they mock you, number two, unbelievers. So the most important reason is, there simply are no reasons for the existence of a God. The second category of people God cannot save are those who refuse to believe in Jesus Christ. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It cannot be clearer than that for good measure. In Romans 10, 9, Apostle Paul says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, period. Yet many refuse to believe, even after repeated knowledge of the gospel. Unfortunately, if you do not believe in Jesus Christ, you will not be saved. There is no other way around salvation. Nothing else can save man but Jesus Christ, not even their intelligence, power, money, looks, or anyone else. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. His death on the cross was enough to pay for our sins. You have been redeemed from sin, but you also have to accept Christ for the redemption to become a reality in your life. Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the most important decision you will ever make in your life. It is the only way that you shall be saved. Number three, hypocrites. God cannot save hypocrites. Who is a hypocrite? The word hypocrite comes from a Greek word that means play actor. A hypocrite is someone pretending to be something that he or she is not in order to receive recognition or gain. 
Hypocrisy is a result of pride. Jesus showed his disapproval of hypocrites in Matthew 23, 13. He said, Woe to you, teachers of the law and F.A. heresies, you hypocrites! You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those enter who are trying to. Hypocrites are deceivers. Because of their actions, many potential candidates for heaven will end up in hellfire. They brag about being pure and righteous, but they are addicted to lies, fornication, gluttony, and hate. Despite their claims of loyalty, they cheat on on their partners. They are disloyal to their friends. They worship God, but it is all for public show. Number 4. Blasphemers. Jesus conquered death because he conquered sin. This is captured in Matthew 12. It says, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. Matthew 12, 31. To be sure, he emphasized this point. In verse 32, he says, And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. There you have it. Blaspheming or speaking against the Holy Ghost cannot be forgiven. Blasphemers cannot be saved, because there is no redemption without the forgiveness of sin. Now that we know this, we can ask, what does it mean to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit? It is more than crucial that we understand the true meaning of blaspheming or speaking against the Holy Spirit. It is condemned to eternal damnation? The answer is no. The sin against the Holy Spirit that cannot be forgiven is an intentional, willful sin of deciding to never repent again after having received the knowledge of the truth and have had God's Spirit work in one's life. As Hebrews 10, 26, 27 point out, if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sins is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. Number 5 the dead. God cannot save the dead. In many societies, it is customary for people to go to pastors and priests to ask for prayers for the departed loved ones, father, mother, brother, sister, etc. They will say, man of God, please pray for our dearly beloved. But I'm sorry to say it does not work like that. Once you have passed away, not even all the prayers of living saints will be able to save you. Your path to eternal life starts and ends here while you are still alive. I have heard people speak of purgatory, that so-called middle-of-the-road realm between heaven and earth. Again, I am sorry to tell you, purgatory doesn't exist. It is only a fictional, desired arrangement that is unrelated to salvation. Now is your time to receive your salvation while you still breathe. Number 6. The Apostates. God cannot save the Apostates. The word apostates come from the Greek word apostasia, which means rebellion, abandonment, or defection from entrenched principle. One of the most enlightening verses in the New Testament is 2 Peter 2, 20, 22. It says, If they have escaped the corruption of the world by knowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and are, are again entangled in it and are overcome, they are worse off at the end than they were at the beginning. It would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than to have known it, and then to turn their backs on the sacred command that was passed on to them. Apostates are similar to blasphemers. These are the people who take the grace and patience of God for granted. They learn the truth about salvation and redemption. They play along. After that, they leave, leave God's house and enter the world again. They go back to their old lives. They return to sin with glee. They start telling crude jokes about their fellow Christians while using the name of God in vain. They feed off and embrace the world's sinful and heartless nature. Some apostates return back to Christ only to go back again to the world every now and then. Others learn the truth, return to sin, but never to return back to God. In either case, they rebel against God, they abandon God, and they defect from the path of redemption they attained only by the grace of the Lord Jesus. If you do this, God cannot save you. These are the six kinds of people that God cannot save. It is important to note that in all these cases, it is the people that do not want to be saved. God respects their free will. May any of these never be our portion. In Jesus' name, don't forget to like and share this video to everyone you want to be saved by Jesus Christ.